Good morning friends. Today we are going to do another problem on pressure and fluids from Concise Physics for Class 9 ICSC. The problem states here that the pressure of water on the ground floor is 40,000 Pascal and on the first floor is 10,000 Pascal. Find the height of the first floor. So what we need to do first is draw a, draw a house. So this is a kind of a house with multiple floors. We are concerned of only two floors. One is, this is the ground floor and this is the first floor. This could be the second floor and third floor and all those things. We are not concerned with that. Now, this saying there's a, there's a water line going out here. Like This is the water pipe and you have water flowing. So this is the water that is flowing in the pipe, kind of a thing. From top, from the water tank, there could be a water tank out here, kind of a thing. So from the water tank, it is coming up, it is connected, it is connected by this pipe. <coughs> so uh, the pressures are different. On the ground floor, the pressure is 40,000. Pascal. On the first floor, the water pressure is 10,000 Pascal. Why is the pressure different at different places? Because we know the pressure of any fluid or water increases mm -hmm. with the height. So the height of this water column is more here because we are considering the entire height. And the height of this water column in the first floor is less because here we are considering only this height okay so let us mark this two height as this is we can say the height of this water column is on the ground floor is h1 and that on the first floor is h2 so now we know from the uh, equation of pressure at any point pressure P is equal to rho that is density of the liquid where it is here it is water into height of the water column into acceleration due to gravity so for the first floor what is this pressure for the sorry pressure for the ground floor PG is equal to rho of water into H what is this H H1 and G is same so for the and for the first floor it is pf into rho into h2 into into g okay so now you put the value on the equation here rho is given as what the rho is given as 10000 uh, sorry 1000 kg per meter cube and g of our system as 10 meter per second okay so we can put the value in both the formulas and we can see is rho a uh, pressure in g is nothing but rho is 1000 into height, height is into h1 into g so the pg the value is given as 40000 so 40000 is equal to 1000 into 10 that is 10000 into h1 we can find it we cancel all the zeros here and all the zeros here so h1 is equal to 4 be that and h is in meter because all this thing in SI unit equation number one okay for first floor we have pf pf where the height is h2 and other values of rho and g remains the same because we are only discussing over water so the density is 
again thousand into h2 into 10 so the pressure on the first load is given as 10,000 into 1000 into 10 that is a 10,000 here into h2 so therefore h2 we are getting as 1 meter this is equation number 2 so we, from these two equations what you are getting h1 we are getting as 4 meter and h2 we are getting as 1 meter so if this entire height of h1 is 4 meter from this top till this as 4 meter and if h2 till here is 3 meter so how much is this so when you are when you want the height of the first floor is something we measure height from the ground level so this is the ground level from here we need this height this is nothing but we know this is h1 minus h2 so now h1 is we found out 4 and h2 is 1 so the answer is 3 so the height of the first floor is 3 meters the height of the first floor is 3 meters this is our answer to the question 3 meters so what 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 knowledge we use to uh, get this problem done we use the knowledge of saying that pressure is nothing but density into height into acceleration due to gravity so if for a one particular liquid here water it is rho is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube and g is taken as 10 meter per second square so only the height changes based on the change in height the pressure changes so now we can understand why in a multi-storied building the people who are staying in the ground floor gets more pressure the water from the tap in the ground floor comes faster than if you're staying on the higher level so it will come slowly in a higher level so it's always better to stay in the ground floor in a multi-storied building you will get a higher pressure so it's you cannot complain to the plumber that i'm staying in the fifth floor i've spent more money for staying on the higher floor why is my water pressure less in the bathroom or in the toilets it's all because of the physics understand okay we'll do so. other problems also in future and for any doubt kindly post your doubt in the comment section of the videos thank you so much